Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you configure only required test cases for running in TestNG? The simple answer is by configuring the TestNG XML file. Okay, we can configure the TestNG XML file in different ways by using which we can achieve this. That is, we can run only the required test cases. What are such kind of configurations we have to do in TestNG XML file? You can follow any of these ways. Okay, first one, grouping tests. Okay, if you want to run only some specific test cases instead of all the test cases or all the TestNG tests, then we can group the tests and run only the tests from that particular group. For example, here, if you come here, I'll just close all this stuff. Here, uh, there is a sample TestNG project. So what I'll do here is I'll go to this uh, class files containing the test methods, login, register, search. Let's say I'll go to the login. And here, I'll add, okay. I'll add something like this, okay. Comma, groups is equal to early braces. I'll just mention, let's say smoke, smoke group, okay. Remaining all test cases like uh, second test case, third test case, fourth test case, fifth test case, I'm not marking any group. If I go to the register test, in, in this register test, there are four tests. Okay, one of the tests I'll just say groups is equal to, just for example, guess guys, groups is equal to smoke. Other tests also, the same thing I'll do. I'll just pick one of the tests and say, Groups is equal to here. I'll say smoke a particular group. Okay, I added one uh, one test in login test into this smoke group. I have mentioned one of the tests in register test uh, as a smoke group and such test uh, one of the tests as a smoke group. Now, if I go to this uh, test and XML file, what I'll do here is here I'll write down something like this. Oops. Okay, run, include, include only the group, include name is equal to, include name is equal to smoke, include name is equal to smoke, self close. Okay, okay. I'll just uh, do one thing, I'll just add it at the test tag level. Okay. Okay. Similarly, for this test tag also, I'll write the same. And when I run this test and XML file, only the tests which are which belong to the smoke group will run. Remaining tests won't run. Okay, this is one way. So the question is, how do you configure this test and G? Okay, how do you configure in test and G so that only required test cases will run with the help of test and XML file? So in the test and XML file, we have to change the configurations where we have to specify the groups that you want to run. There is one, one way. Are there any other ways? Yes, there are other ways also. Either with the help of groups, we can do that. Let me remove the groups from each and every. Just for example, case I added that. Here I'll remove this, this. I marked this test method into, or moved this test method into one of the group. Register test also the same thing. One of the tests is into this group. The help of groups, we can run specific tests in test and And here, this one. Let me remove this, clean up. I have cleaned it up. Now let's go with the other way. That is by specifying the classes containing the tests. Here, if you go to the testng.xml file, I'll mention the classes that I want to run. For example, here, only one class register test is there part of this test. Whereas in the other test, we have two classes. We have two classes here, login test class and search test class. What I will do here is, okay, I don't want to run. I want to run the test only from login and register. I don't want search. I'll, I can remove it from here. Okay, now if I run this session XML file, only the test from the register test and login test will run. Search test, test will not run, okay? 
So if you want to run specific test cases from specific functionalities, this is another way. Okay, with the help of groups, we can do that, or we can specify the classes. We can mention the classes from which we want to run the test, and we don't want to mention that classes uh, that we don't want to run the test from. And by that way, we can configure only required test cases running in test engine. And the other way is by including or excluding the test. Okay, I'll just uh, write it back. For example, in login test, I don't want to run all the tests. Okay, in login test, if you expand here, there are one, two, three, four, five tests, but I don't want to run all the tests. So I want to run only specific uh, set of tests from this uh, login test. I'll run, I'll write something like this, okay? Methods, here I have to say, include, include, name is equal to, I want to run, out of this five, I want to run only two test methods, let's say. Okay, verify, login with, valid credentials, okay? This is one test I want to run from this login test. This is the one, and uh, verify login without providing credentials, okay? This is also I want to run. Remaining two, remaining three, I don't want to run. Only two out of three tests I want to run, and then two out of five tests I want to run. Verify login without providing credentials, is the other one, okay? Only these two I want to run, remaining I don't want to run, okay? Remaining uh, total five are there, two I want to run, three I don't want to run, okay? This is one way. So what will happen when I run this? All the tests from register test will run, but from login test, only these two tests out of five tests will run, and from the search test, three out of three tests will run, okay? Or you can also say exclude, instead of include, write exclude, what will happen if I say exclude here instead of include? Except these two test methods, remaining all test methods in the login test need to run. That means verify login with valid credentials. Okay. Verify login with valid credentials. That will run and verify login uh, that will not run. And the other one is verify login without providing credentials. Except that every other test will run. So out of five, Three will run, two will not run. Okay, whatever I mentioned in exclude will not run. Okay, so this is the other way. So like this, there are multiple ways for configuring the test engine XML file to run the okay to run the test okay to run required test cases either by grouping and uh, specifying to run only the test from that group. We can do that uh, to run the required test, or we can specify the classes or remove the classes from the test engine XML file. So based on that also, we can run required tests. And third one is by including or excluding the tests from individual classes with the help of include and exclude types. With that also, we can only, we can configure test in XML file to run required tests. Okay. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.